In this GIMP Beginner's Guide, I'll show you how to combine two photos. Now this guide is designed for GIMP beginners with very limited computer experience. For this example, I'll place the photo of my friend onto a scenic photo. So first, I'll open the scenic photo. I click on File, Open, and then I'll double click on the photo. And now I'll open the photo with the person on it. Again, I click on File, but I don't want to open it as a new project. I want to open this photo as a layer. So I come down and click on Open as Layers. And I find the photo of him and double click on it. Now to enable the background of the person photo to go transparent, I'm going to need to give it an alpha channel. So I go to my layers panel and I right click on the person layer and then I come down and left click on add alpha channel. And next I'm going to crop the person photo. This will reduce the layer size and make it simpler to move and scale later on. So I click on the crop tool in the toolbox and then I come down to the tool options panel and if it isn't already ticked I click on current layer only to tick the box. And now I'll drag out a rectangle over him and press my Enter key on my keyboard and the area outside the rectangle is cropped off. And now I'll click on the Zoom tool and I'll zoom him up to fill my image window. Now I'm going to use my Free Select tool so I'll click on it and this time I want to make the edges softer. So I go down to my Tool Options panel and click on Feather Edges. And I'll make the radius about 3. And now I'll quickly click around them to select them. And I'll finish the selection. And now I want to invert my selection so that I can remove the background and keep him. So to do that, I click on Select in the menu bar and come down and click on Invert. And now I'll press Delete on my keyboard and the background around him has now been deleted. So I'll deselect him by clicking on Select and None. Now there's still a bit here to do, so I'll just quickly select that. And press Delete on my keyboard. And then go Select None again. So now I'll zoom it back down.
To move him, I click on the Move tool in my toolbox. I put my cursor on him and I drag him to where I'd like him to be. And for this example, I think he's a bit small, so I'll scale him up. And I go back to my toolbox and click on the Scale tool. And then I click on the Photo. Now to keep my scaling in proportion, this chain in the dialog box needs to be linked. So if it isn't linked, I have to click on it to link it. And now to scale him up, I'm simply going to drag out one of the corner handles. And when I think it looks okay, I click on scale to confirm it. Now note that it does have to be a corner handle. If you use one of the centre ones, it won't scale in proportion. And now I'll move him again. And I think that looks okay. But don't forget that if you do anything you don't like, you can simply click on Edit and undo the move. But in this case, I want him here, so I'll put him back here. And the perforated line around him is the layer boundary guide, and it doesn't show up in any photos, etc. It's just a guide for the project. But if you find it really distracting, you can click on View in the menu bar and come down to Show Layer Boundary and click on it to untick it and you'll see that the Layer Boundary Guide is now hidden. So I hope that made sense, but if you've got any problems or suggestions, please just leave a comment.